Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to the Boathouse Paddle series where we talk about everything concerning paddle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a paddle checkout with a simple buy button to a website. I'll be using a CMS, a content management system called Card, which is available at card.co, but this works for Webflow, Squarespace, Framer, whatever you're using, you'll usually find the elements that I'm going to use in a very similar fashion. Now, the first thing I need to do is add Paddle.js, which is Paddle's JavaScript library. To do that, heading over to the developer.paddle.com help site and at the top, click on include and initialize Paddle.js. You'll find this script tag down here, which I'm gonna copy. And then in card, I need to add an embed element. Now this can be called an HTML element or a raw content element in your CMS, but basically you're adding, whatever you're typing, you're adding to the page directly, which is required for this. And I'm going to paste the code that I've just copied. And then I need to set up the environment. So I need to connect the page to my account. For this, we have this snippet in the Paddle documentation. Now, this is already prepared for a sandbox account. This is what I'm using here. But if you have a production account, you don't need the first line. It's automatically set to production. You do need the bottom four lines, which initializes Paddle. But note that if you use a production account, you need a verified domain or it won't work. So I'm going to copy this, head back into card. Now I do need to type out the script tag for this manually, but then in between these tags, I paste what I've just copied. Now this token is not from my account, so I'm going to delete that. Heading over to my Paddle account, under Developer Tools Authentication, I can create a client-side token. Let's give it the name of Test. Then I'm going to copy that token and paste it into the single quotes, in between the single quotes. And then by doing this, I've now connected this page to my Paddle account. Next step is to add a button and to link that button with one of my products that I'd like to sell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a button, move this to the top. Let's give this button a title of buy. There are two ways of connecting a button to checkout. You can use JavaScript if you have programming skills, it's not very complicated, but the easier way is to use HTML attributes to do that. Paddle.js, when it gets loaded on the page with the tag that we just added, it'll check the page for attributes on the buttons and it'll check for CSS classes to initialize. Now, the first thing you need to do is add a CSS class called battle, paddle underscore button. So that initializes. This will tell Paddle.js, okay, I want to do something with this button. And then you need to point to a certain product in your uh, account that you'd like the checkout to start with. So to do that, let's go back into our account and first grab a price ID. Remember, you don't check out products, you check out a price ID. So I'm just going to use the lifetime deal here, which is at the top. And then I prepared this basically attribute that I'm going to set on the button where I'm going to paste my price in here. And all this does is say, okay, I'd like you to check out this price with this quantity when I press the button. So I'm going to copy this snippet, head back into card and under attributes, I'm just going to paste this in and click on done. And if I now go ahead and publish this website, and view the website. If I now press the buy button, a paddle checkout will pop up with the product that I've just linked. This is the Simple SaaS lifetime deal. And that's a very easy way to connect a paddle checkout to your website. Thanks for watching.